So we're doing the Brigand Twin Daggers. Twin Dag works, that's all I can fit. We're gonna start Mercenary. Uh, let's see, appearance. Man, it's been so long since I played this game. <laughs> Just, it feels weird. I couldn't even tell you which character I picked last time. I'm going this one. Uh, burial gifts. We'll do the fire gem. We're using a fire infusion for this run. That's what I rolled, and I figure I might as well just grab it here. I'm probably not gonna infuse until after Yorm though, because I do not want to fight Yorm with fire daggers. No, thank you. So the brigand twin daggers we can get after Yorm, and because we're going fire, I, I pretty much don't need to level like anything besides vigor and endurance. Maybe a little dex. I need two dex, two more dex, then we're good. You know, I find it so weird that it makes you pick up the Ash and Nestus Flask, and then it just puts it in your inventory. Just so strange to me. Does Fire strip the base scaling? Yes. So it has no strength or dex scaling, at least according to the wiki dot. I think if you want scaling on a fire weapon, you have to go Chaos. So this run makes DS2 the, like the, it's, it's the longest uh, since I played game, if that makes sense. Okay, well, thank you for the gifted sub to Luke. Appreciate it, man. I feel like I should be parrying here. I don't have... Can you parry with the shield? Come back, and the first weapon I use is Cell Sword Twin Blades. I'm not using them for long, though. Just two bosses. Picked this class because it was the best starting class for this build, which probably isn't surprising considering the fact that the twin daggers are a dex weapon. We don't need much strength. How quickly will Fex for Life update their wiki for Elden Ring DLC and how long before something is wrong with it? Immediately, for both. They still have, like, incomplete information. I don't know why I'm talking there. Actually, I probably should level. But yeah, they still have incomplete information on there. I was looking at the Mimic Tier page the other day to try and, like, figure out how much health or resistances it had, and they don't have anything for that. And maybe that depends on your character, I don't really know, but... You know, there's just a lot of information in Elden Ring, and they just, you know, they don't have everything. It is for character. Well, I figured there's, like, a base, though, you know? And maybe not. Can I get Homeward Bones yet? Hmm, so we want our two decks, and then... bigger. I can buy one homer bone. That's all I need. Passion. He seems to start, but then just stops and never update. What, will? All right, where are we going? We're going high wall. I guess we'll use the brigand set too. Oh, Fextra Life. The he threw me off. Yeah, well, the thing with Fextra Life is they were, you know, embedding their stream, their Twitch stream on their site. So they were always trying to get like the most traffic they could to the site by being the first to update everything. And there's not really a good wiki for Elden Ring other than Fextra, unfortunately. Not that Fextra is like amazing for it, but it's the best there is. Like the other Souls games have better wikis, and I'm sure there are like better wikis for other other games. Assuming Fextra was a key. It's a bunch of people. Actually, I think I think there's like someone called Fex. I think it's actually a woman, but I, I'm not sure. But you know, there there's a bunch of people on the team, I guess, because they used to have like, you know, a million streamers. It's not like they are obligated to make the wiki. No, they're not obligated to. Not at all. But they did it because they, you know, could embed their stream and make money off of it. Or at least drive traffic to their stream and make money off of that. Be nice. You don't see me. I'm not here. Oops, I didn't mean to drop all the way down. That's not good. Holy delay, dude. No. Hey, it's Tom. This is S Tom's run, by the way, guys. Whoops. Forgot I'm dual wielding. It is? Yeah, you requested the Brigand Twin Daggers. Do you not remember that? <laughs> Unless there's another S Tom that I <laughs> somehow snuck in. Oh, did you not see what run we're doing? Maybe you didn't see the title. Yeah, this is your run. It's your first request, so I, I honored the first time requests by doing them like as soon as I can. And then after that, you get stuck with everyone else.
Yeah, you get him after high wall. That's the plan. Sixty-five days or sixty-five stream streak, not day streak. The reward: four hundred fifty channel points. I make alternate accounts so I can actually get a weapon run. <laughs> I mean, you could. I don't have a system stopping that. Travel six with forty streams. Jeez, it's a long time. Like 10 weeks. Probably, at least. He's crazy. Oh, you got your prom today, White Snake? I do remember, though. No. What time? You gotta be soon, I imagine. Uh oh. Ooh. Did I pick up the Pine Resin and then I just decided to not use it? Really in play. In 40 minutes? Oh, that is very soon. To do the cringe dance with the guys. <laughs> Nothing like cringe dancing with the guys. What's a problem with a different color than your date? Is it normal to match colors? Daddy kept the theme with the twin blades for the starter. Well, the only reason I'm starting with these is because the mercenary was the best class for the build. I usually like I pick whatever's the lowest level for the end build, like most of the time. And this beat out sorcerer by oddly sorcerer by like uh two levels or something. Okay, please get out of the way. What? Dude, just let me... Come on. Got called up for having a red shirt and she wore a blue dress. I don't know why I picked that up. Aren't red and blue, like, complementary colors? Or maybe that's red, blue, and yellow. And red and green. Never mind. I don't know, man. Colors are beyond my uh, area of expertise. Glad no one asked how old I am. <laughs> Did I forget a shard? I think I forgot a shard. Mm, it's alright. No, well, this is not going well. Three. I think I'm good. I think I picked it up. 21 with experience? <laughs> exactly. I guess it's cute to high schoolers that you match. Yeah, I can see that. It's a big day for high schoolers. They want everything to be perfect, you know. Oh, I don't have a thing here. I need a branch. Oh, don't roll off. Don't roll off. Wait, what? Hello, I have a branch. What the hell is this? I thought if you had a branch, you're in the clear. Yeah, the branch is a good gift. It's, it's usually what I take, but I took a fire gem because I knew a fire infusion. I could have just, like, got one from somewhere else, but I didn't want to. The lizard and the catacombs, I think one of them drops a fire gem. High school was, to be honest, one of the best times, though. You could chill pretty much all the time. Yeah, I didn't mind high school. I think I enjoyed college more, though. I feel like in high school, you didn't have as much freedom, you know? At least where I lived, like, you couldn't drive for half of it. Uh-oh. Okay, as soon as I was allowed to drive, it was chill. Fair enough. Yeah, you don't have, like, the responsibility of, uh, you know, being in college, having tuition to worry about. Someone's paying for it, no matter who. You know, classes to keep up with if you worked. It's just a lot more, uh, to do. Although I like that, though. I like to be busy. Master Key Healing wears some white branch. That's what I do. Usually. All right, so now we can get this weapon. I kind of remember where it is, but not really. Like, I know it's here. I just don't remember how to get to it. It's not this way, right? I know you drop down. 
I think you drop down. Not here. If you drop down like over here or something. Maybe on the other side. Oh, no, this is where you normally drop down. I need to get the tight eye shard. Did Petra fight something once and got the white ring from the crows? The ring that turned you into a white person? Like a white phantom? Alright, where are we going here? Hello. Hate the corpses. Okay, I see where to go. No poison. Mm, here. No. Where the hell did you drop down? Is it here? Or is it... I can't even tell. Or is it here? I think it's here. Yeah. Metal Sprother gave me the best advice after I graduated. Told me to like a class or two. Hang on. I have no idea where this stuff is. I don't even know if this is the right spot. Morn's Ring. What the hell is Morn's Ring? Before the archway behind you. Alright. So back here. Right here? Do you even drop down? Or is it just this? Oh, it looks. I think it's just this. Ring and axe. Break and set. It's gotta be this then. Boom. Oh boy. Why are there so many poor beans? Jesus. Alright, now I can read this. My oldest brother gave me the best advice after I graduated. He told me to like a class or two in university. To see if it was for me. To like a class? To take a class. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes it's just not for people. And it's good to figure that out early before you, like, spend a lot of money. Basically your exact situation. Alright. This is the, uh, is this the bandit set from Dark Souls 1? That's what it looks like. Ouch. I don't remember what it was called. I don't know if it was called the Brigand set or something else, but... It looks exactly like it. The headpiece looks different, I think, but the armor, the rest of it looks the same. The knight set from DS1, the uh, Andre or Henri set. Oh, it's punching. Whoops, hang on. Oh, that's wild. The nameless knight set. All right, we're gonna go level up. And I guess we can upgrade too. I have a couple tiny shards. I forgot two now that I think about it. Did I, I wonder if I got the halfway bonfire. I don't know if I did. I'll check. Reinforce. Yes. Can't do that. Okay, just plus one, I guess. Bowtie or necktie? Are you feeling adventurous? Bowtie if you're feeling adventurous. Otherwise, no. Let's see. Do this and this. All right, let me see. Did I get the bonfire or not? That'll work. Perfect. DS1 night sets in fair and keep. Okay, so it's not on reset. Which is the... I think it's the elite night set. Taking bow tie, next time makes you look 40. <laughs> next time makes you look like you're in law school. Or your lawyer, I guess. I don't know why you'd be wearing a tie in school. Alright, I need to remember to actually... This is not great. I gotta remember to, uh... Two-hand. Keep forgetting and I keep ending up punching. Sword roll. I'm dead. It's alright. Get away from the vape monsters? I got stuck in the vape monsters. Couldn't do anything there, man. Yeah, let me warp to the other bonfire. And we'll do, I think, Sage, probably. Actually, yeah, we'll do Sage. And then I'll do Abyss Watchers. Where are my souls at? Here we go. It's only 882, but still. No soul left behind. So the Elite Knight set's near the Watchdog? I thought that was... I thought you got the Elite Knight set from the uh, Lady of the Shrine, the, the Hag. The Shrine Handmaid, whatever she's called. After you killed Henri, or after you did his quest, or her quest, whatever, depending on your character. I thought that's how that works, but I don't remember. Sad that I don't remember, because that was the last Dark Souls 3 run I did. Where's the... oh.
It's been too long since I've done this. I don't remember, like, anything. <laughs> I don't remember where Sage spawns. I remember this one. Kind of. I remember phase two better. one more cycle and we're good. There we go. Twin Daggers taking it to Sage. <laughs> Slowly they were. I'm very happy this armor set is light too. I don't have to worry about vitality. Because I might have picked a different class honestly if I needed to go more vitality. This actually seems like a pretty well-rounded class. And that it just has like more decks than anything. Wait, is this is the right headpiece? Yeah, Brigand Hood. Cause that guy looked like he was wearing the Brigand set, but I think he had a different headpiece on. Could be wrong though. Oh, uh, okay, he died. Cool. Surprised I didn't get hit by that. All right, let's go to, I guess I'll level up. Got like 8K or something. Might be making that up, I actually have no idea. 9k. Actually, I want more endurance. How many um how many weapons in this game can you dual wield? It's gotta be a decent amount. Not like a ton, but I think there'd be at least ten. Maybe not ten. I don't know. Probably close to it. Maybe that's not a decent amount. Alright, uh we're gonna go back here. We're gonna do Abyss Watchers. And then I'll probably upgrade again before Wolnir. So how many, uh, finite shards do we have? We have five. I need seven. No, five more. Dead. I feel like I never get both of them to drop. Just one of them, usually. Oh, yeah, I have quick step on this, right? One set up taking the express ladder down. Yeah, they didn't tell him the destination was death. Oh god. Gravity will take a chair of kills? It sure will. I know that all too well. Is this a Titanite shard? I can't remember. Okay. Then the prism stones are over here. I always get these confused for some reason. Can't drink till 10 p.m. So, do they actually, like, provide you drinks? Assuming you're 18. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh oh. Get me out of here. It's in a big house? It's in a big house? Really? Like a mansion? Ouch. Imagine just renting out your house for a prom. That's wild. That's unfortunate. Why are there three of them chasing me? Should have just killed them. Should have quit out, honestly. Let me see, how are we on shards? Nine, okay. Good. That is good. It's called the house... It's called House of Culture, and it's... Like, every city here, and it's a place where concerts and other stuff takes place. Okay. Interesting. So it's not really a house. Not a house house. It's just called a house. Like a house of blues or something like that. Like a venue. Sounds old and haunted. Alright, I want these. I still have three guys chasing me again. 
Oh, come on, man. Can I even go around here? I don't think I can. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have to get at least three beers before the dance or I'll die of cringe for sure. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a Titanite shard? That's actually sick. I didn't know that was there. Saves me a little bit. Mm, I'm gonna skip that bonfire. I'll get the one in here. Then we'll go, uh, actually, I'll probably upgrade after Abyss Watchers. Popeyes, Chick-fil-A, or KFC? I, I can't comment on Popeyes. I've never actually had Popeyes. I don't think I have. Maybe like once, but I don't remember it. Chick-fil-A or KFC? That's tough. I like both. Probably pick KFC, though. Guess. Guess where he's from. <laughs> what a fun game that is. Guess where in the world he's from. Could be anywhere. Maybe he's an alien. Maybe he's just a bot. Maybe he's AI. Greedfall? I've never played Greedfall. I'm not familiar with Greedfall. Like, I don't even know what it is. Walked right into my trap. Yikes. What? Go backstab. <laughs> Can't believe you guys are going along with it. I would have just been like, no, I'm not playing. You tell me right now. That didn't work. Got a sequel releasing in early access like Baldur's Gate 3. What kind of game is it? Oh, AA pirate open world game like Gothic. That's pretty neat. And you all never had Popeyes before? I don't think there's even a Popeyes near where I am. So I just realized I have one heal. Oops. Next time got it. Zero heals left. Let's see if I remember how to do this fight. This phase. It's pretty much the same as phase one, just with some bonus stuff and some fire. The bonus stuff is the fire. Where's Borat from? Kazakhstan. I think. Man, that movie is old. That movie came out when I was in high school. Angry hitbox. Whoops. It's supposed to be a backstab. I'm dead. I am so dead. Let me backstab you. Dude, really? Hey, learn train play. Love the music, Sam. I love his theme. Anybody in chat right now from the US? I am. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not punishing that. Yeah. Too far away. But yeah, a lot of people from here are, are not in the US. Or in here are not from the US. Damn it.
Jump in the air. Thank you. Saved. What is my health at right now? I'm gonna look. Uh, where where the hell do you even see it? Oh, I healed because of the ember. Damn. I mean, it had to be like single digits. It's a great it was one. I mean, to be fair, even if it was like six, like, is there much of a difference? We'll call it one. 17, more endurance. 19, 20. I'm not going above 18 decks. There's no point with a fire uh, well, weapon. I bet with the success of early access with Baldur's Gate, I bet we'll see a trend of early access games. I mean, I feel like we've been seeing early access games, though. Like, early access games aren't new. It's just Baldur's Gate 3 was very successful. Oh, with double A, triple A? Maybe. I don't know, it depends on the studio. Like, big, really big studios aren't gonna do that. Like, Larian's an indie dev, even though, like, it, it feels like they're not. They publish their own games. Where are we going? We're going here. You know, it's not like they have EA or Activision or whoever backing them. Mm, what am I doing here? Why am I going this way? So we need to get a bunch of large shards. Why, dude, why is it on two hand? It's so frustrating. Like, I hate that. I know why it does it, it's just like... Drives me nuts. All right, you get back here. I need this undead... Actually, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with the undead bone shard now. Larian did not think BG3 would do as good as it did. Yeah, I don't think anyone expected it to do as well as it did. It's just such a niche genre, you know? But they really brought it to the mainstream. By just putting out a killer game. I wonder how it, how did it work if you if you got early access to Baldur's Gate 3? Did you just get the full thing on release? Did you have to pay like $60 for early access or did you have to repurchase? I have no idea how that worked. Would love to see him remake the first two. Oh. How am I doing on large shards? I have like two, right? I feel like I'm short some. I don't know why. EA said in their press packet there, after firing 600 people, their attention is with Bioware and making Dragon Age 4. I think the heads forgot they were making a game like BG3 and put all the resources on that. It was Dragon Age Inquisition dra uh, the third one? Large shards from Fair and Keep? I didn't get those. I started skipping those because there are ones I can get elsewhere, but I don't know if I got all the ones I needed to get by now. I can't remember. I'm just going to hope I did. There's seven, I think, in the... Um, wherever the hell I'm going next. And then I gotta get another few in Irithyll. I think I actually own all the Dragon Age games, and I've always meant to play them, and I just never have. I got them all after I played Mass Effect, which was probably like 2020? Or 2021? Somewhere around there. Wow, this thing is, uh, tough. There we go. Tough bracelet. Alright, hey, Wolnir, what are you doing? Summoning the sword, probably. Or not. He puts his hand, like, right in the poison. Oh my god. I had one HP. <laughs> I had more HP than I finished Abyss Watchers with, I'll say that. Probably wasn't one, but it was close. Yikes. Imagine if Nito was this big? He wouldn't even fit in his arena. Climb. I am mashing X. There we go. The intro makes him look way bigger. I don't think I've watched the Dark Souls intro in probably years. I don't remember how big he was. I have two Homeward Bones, perfect. Although I need to remember to get more. He looks like he would be the size of Seath in the intro, really? That's pretty big. It says, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe, shards that I can think of? Might be more, but... I don't know where they are, if there are. As long as I have ten by the time I leave here, then we're fine. I think I'm at, like, six. There's two in here. There's also a chunk right here. Oh, that's quick step, you idiot.
Oh, that's a Twinkling Tiny Net. Of course it is. I always get confused. Alright. Chunk. Technically, I didn't risk this last bonfire, so I don't know why this would take me here. So what, I have nine now? Eight. Okay, so we'll get two more here, and then I can get two in here, Phil. Oops. I honestly thought you could just run and you'd be fine here. But maybe not. Alright, good here, I think. Back to the shrine. Plus five. Okay. And then we'll do Yorm after we do Beacons, and then I can uh, infuse this thing with fire after that. 21! That works. I think, like, I reached the end, the, the final build at, like, level 68 or something. Why? Oh my god, it's so annoying. I gotta remember every time I upgrade. Yeah, I guess upgrade to just hit Y. Just hit Y after upgrading. After you get at the menu. Surprised that didn't hit me, honestly. I hate getting hit by that guy because the bleed is just so annoying. And I don't think I have a torch. I don't even know where you get a torch. In New Game Plus, get another set so you always have one in each hand. Does it even work like that? Like, could you even... If you had two of these things, would you even be able to use the two-handed moveset? Yeah, I feel like it probably doesn't. Because you specifically have to two-hand to, to dual wield. But it would save me from punching randomly. But in New Game Plus, I'm not going to need to worry about upgrading, so... I should always have uh, dual wielding going on. And I actually have quick step for once, which is nice. I never have quick step here. I don't know what that guy's going after. I'm long gone. I guess he's going after the other enemies that are there. I feel like this will be an interesting weapon for Yorm. I don't know if it's going to be good. Because the range is not great, but I guess we'll see when we get there. And then New Game Plus Yarm is going to be awful because I'm going to have half of my damage doing essentially nothing to him. Forgot about Yorm? Like Dandy forgot about the Iron Fleet? I'll tell you, Yorm didn't forget about you. <laughs> Nor did the Iron Fleet forget about Danny. <laughs> God. What a meme that final season was. Ugh. So depressing. Finally started pumping Arcane into Bleed Build. Yeah, it's really good. Because I think, like, like I remember, you know, that was, the, like, the build with Rivers, right? And, uh... Everyone would pump Arcane, even though it was a dex weapon. Like, it scaled with Arcane, so it's not like it didn't do anything, but... That was the build. White Mask, Arcane, Spam L2. Then they nerfed it. This actually feels pretty good for this fight, to be honest. You hit, like, a, a wide range of enemies. Now I'm not going to get random backstabs. Also, does this have bleed? I didn't even think about that. I don't think it does, but maybe it does. I don't think every dagger has bleed, but some definitely do. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Coming through. You can just keep going with this thing. It doesn't really stop until you run out of stamina. No bleeding. That's all right. You don't get much from Deacons. You get like 13k. It's not a lot. All right. Back to Wolnir. Going to Earthhill. Did a dual curved sword build, dex build, and white mask, and Moog medallion, and blood flame blade. 
Moog didn't even get a chance to get into phase two. Yeah, I believe it. I've seen people kill Moog in like before phase two with rivers, just like super quickly. Blee is just very good. No fair and greatsword weapon art. Fair and greatsword was fun. I'm gonna get this actually. I only have five Estus. Do I have another shard or something? Oh, I have two. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that explains that then. Why do you stand here? Is like near the lamp shadow, like right here, or something? Yeah, pretty close. Lord of Blood is lore accurately weak to blood. Yeah, I think he, you know, he's it's a fair fight, right? Like he he's not gonna like try and overwhelm you with the fact that he's gonna try and bleed you to death. He'll let you use it against him. I respect that. Anyone here forget ever forget the doll? I I think I have before, probably. I can't say it hasn't happened. Not for sure. Ow. So there are two large shards I need to get here. Oh god. Can't see, it's just fire. The weapon art's so cool, foot for the fair and great sword. Oh, the Pontiff Knight Curve Sword. I assume it's something similar to what they're trying to do to me right now. Just realized I never put this on. Just waiting. There we go. 43.8%. So yeah, I don't think we're going to need to worry about being too heavy. I mean, this armor set doesn't look like it'd be heavy. It's just not something I planned for. Kind of forgot about armor. The water splashing sound is very rhythmic. All right, let's go level up. Before going to Yorm. Then I can get plus six and turn these S to shards in. A lot of things to do here, apparently. What? And reinforce. Wait. Oh, I know which one I'm missing. Oh, that sucks. That's fine. I can that's that's okay. I can find another large shard somewhere. And then I maybe level before Yarm or something. Oops, not that. Kind of a bummer, though. Not gonna lie. Kill giants. I think there's just a large shard I can pick up in the... in Earthhill Dungeon. I'm not too worried about it. 